Do you live in Seattle now? Because I remember you made a video saying that you moved to Seattle. <laughs> Seattle's amazing. You're not going to be able to find me in Seattle. Okay, well, the reason I, I mentioned it is not to try to put your location on No, no, no. I, no, they, because, no, trust me. Yeah, Seattle's a huge city. I'm not telling you what street you live on yeah, or neighborhood yeah, yeah. or whatever. I'm just saying the, the huge, one of the biggest cities in America you now live in. And part of the reason why you moved there, I guess, is because you're a huge Bruce Lee fan, and Bruce Lee is uh, buried right in Seattle, there, yeah, right? In Lakeview, in Lakeview, yes. Did you know that they recently announced they think they know how he died? No, no. I mean, they've been, you know, or there something to do with the mafia. No. Well, number one, you know that Bruce Lee had this whole thing about being water. You know, be mm -hmm. water, my friend. Be like, be like water. A water goes into a cup and assumes the shape and be formless. Yes. Well, according according to scientists and based on research that they've done, and this was actually published in a real medical journal, they think that Bruce Lee died from drinking too much water. <laughs> no, see, <laughs> it's a fucking joke, but <laughs> no, I'm dead ass right Listen now. Listen to me. I'm dead ass. Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. B water doesn't have anything to do with the consumption of water. B water means transparent and flow. I, I understand that. I I, I know I know Informed. that, right. But what I'm saying is, is that based on this was actually published in the Clinical Kidney Journal, an actual real medical publication. They're saying that he basically was drinking so much water all the time that he ended up basically dying from too drinking too much water. So he really took it to heart. This whole be water, no, he just drank no, water man. like crazy. This is what they say. <laughs> those people are those people are crazy. Okay, look, it says, in conclusion, we hypothesize that Bruce Lee died from a specific form of kidney dysfunction, the inability to excrete enough water to maintain water homeostasis, which is mainly a tubular function. This may lead to hyponatremia, cerebral oedema, and death within hours of excess water intake is not matched by water excretion in urine, which is, the which is in line with the timeline of Lee's demise. So his, so water, he was drinking, so his water wasn't transferring. He was drinking a bunch of water. He kept drinking. He wasn't going to the bathroom. And he basically just, his kidneys weren't able to process all the water. And that's why I think he died. And he died like relatively early, right? In his early 30s, yeah, right? Matter of fact, he just had a birthday, yeah. Do you know? He died age 32. Yeah. Now, do you know Bruce Lee and what famous guitar player went to the same school together? And they have the same birthday? At the same time or just the same school? Same time. So this has to be someone that's kind of older. <laughs> oh, man, I, I don't know. Who is Bruce Lee's? I mean, Bruce Lee was born, what, in the... 40s? The 50s? The 40s? 40s. 47. He was maybe? born in 1940. So you're talking yeah. about someone who is... 82 years old right now. I don't know. Keith Rich. No, Keith Rich is from England. Uh, I don't know. I give up. Jimi Hendrix. Ah, okay. Jimi Hendrix and Bruce Lee. Same birthday. Mm. Buried in the same city. No Went to the same high school. November, high school. November, November 27th, 1940. Uh, yeah, man. Listen, rest in peace. I mean, who, who didn't want to be Bruce Lee when they were younger? I know I did. Uh, you know who who didn't took who didn't take a couple of broom handles and had their dad put a little chain in between it and make make some homemade nunchucks. You know how many ass whoopings I got from making my broom handle uh, uh, nunchucks for my mom? I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, everyone did that. Everyone loved Bruce Lee. Everybody loved Bruce Lee. Man. Nunchucks. Uh, so, um, brass knuckles. Yeah, trust yep. me. Um, um, but I'm. But the fact that I know that, <laughs> I've I've had um, lunch with his daughter. Oh, okay. With Shannon, um, I'm one of my first uh, film film I directed was a movie called um, 
the towel of the 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 gold the, the golden the towel of the golden mass. And it was basically a documentary of this this horrible karate movie. And I, <laughs> and what I what I did was um created these this cast that worked on the actual movie. And the rumor to be that Bruce Lee was supposed to be in the movie, but he said he, the movie sucked. <laughs> so um there were some images we needed so um uh, I, I i met with um shannon and we i just fanned out the whole time we just sat there for four hours on sunset and um plaza sunset there used to be an italian restaurant right there on the corner for across from chin chins so we sat there for about four hours and i'm just so she had told me, uh, you know, well, let me see the film and I'm okay. So then it go it went to, so tell me, so tell me, <laughs> you know, it was it was it was you know Shannon, what's up, Shannon? Flash says hello. What's good? You should come and do a Flash TV interview. She should. You should Michael do Shannon. My, you yeah, do well, Shannon Michael. Lee. Michael. Yeah, Michael Jai White was supposed to reach out to her about that. Uh, I'm going to follow up with him. Has oh he has he talked to her? Uh, I think he knows her. Yeah. Oh, okay. I believe so. I believe so. Well, he, let me he, ask you a question. Mm -hmm. no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Did he tell her his his theory <laughs> that he can beat up Bruce Lee? Yeah, now. And you too think that. <laughs> you said, yeah, now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. You guys let, got let, it all figured out. Oh, yeah. Bruce is only 4.53. Bruce will whoop. Jai's ass with a with a tsunami of respect. He is, you know, he's he's really good, but he's not that good. And he's slow. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Uh, <laughs> this, this has been a topic that's been covered in many interviews with me, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it you alone. Fuck with him. Whoever wants to chime in could chime in. It is what it is.